Hello everyone and welcome to the video series on Learn German Grammar. Please excuse my voice today as I have a sore throat. Hope you enjoyed the previous video with 17 mistakes. In this video, we will be doing another 17 mistakes you might be making. So, let's begin. Addressing someone with Frau and Herr and the first name is not usual. When addressing someone with Z, use their family name. For example, Frau Müller or Herr Schmidt. When you are on first name terms with someone, their first name is enough. Herr Max, darf ich Sie um Ihre Hilfe bitten? would be wrong. You should say, Herr Schäfer, darf ich Sie um Ihre Hilfe bitten? And if you're on the first name basis, you could say, Max, kannst du mir helfen? In some companies, you might also hear a mixture of first name and Z. Hallo Max, können Sie mir bitte helfen? Have you heard of mein Freund and meine Freundin? Well, in German, only use these words if the person you are introducing is your partner. Tina ist meine Freundin. Say this only if Tina is your girlfriend. Otherwise, you should say, Tina ist eine Freundin von mir. Let's look at the next one. A lot of people mix up the words Haus and Wohnung. A house is much bigger than an apartment and also more expensive. A lot of people don't have a house but an apartment. Ist das dein Haus? Safer would be to ask Ist das deine Wohnung? The word used to make adjectives stronger in German is sehr and not viel. Viel warm is wrong. The correct one would be sehr warm. Here's another example. Meine Kinder sind viel frech. The correct way to say this would be Meine Kinder sind sehr frech. If you have a day off, you would say in English, I'm free. To be or sein seems to be the first choice of verb. But in German, you would use the verb haben. Heute bin ich frei. The correct one would be, heute habe ich frei. Studieren oder lernen. If you are studying at a university, then you will use the verb studieren. But if you are visiting a course at an institution, for example a school, or learning a language or a skill, or learning for a test, then you will use the verb lernen. If you say, Simone studiert Deutsch an einer Sprachschule, this would be wrong. The correct one would be, Simone lernt Deutsch an einer Sprachschule. Studieren as a verb will only be used if she is actually studying German at a university. The next one is also a misuse of two verbs, telefonieren and anrufen. A longer conversation on the phone is ein Telefonat. The verb is telefonieren plus mit plus dativ. To try to reach someone on the phone, you use the verb anrufen, which is separable, trennbar. Let's look at an example. It would be incorrect if you say, Ich habe mit Tina telefoniert, aber sie war nicht da. You should say, Ich habe Tina angerufen, aber sie war nicht da. And if you talked to Tina for some time, then you could say, Ich habe gestern lange mit Tina telefoniert. Here are some more expressions which also get mixed up pretty often. Bis gleich bedeutet, wir sehen uns in wenigen Minuten. Bis später bedeutet, 
Wir sehen uns noch an diesem Tag. Bis bald bedeutet, wir sehen uns in der näheren Zukunft. Wann genau, ist nicht sicher. Here's an example. Ich hole schnell etwas zum Trinken. Okay, bis bald. The appropriate one would be Ich hole schnell etwas zum Trinken. Okay, bis gleich. Since you will be seeing the person in a few minutes again. When someone is right about something, you would say in English, you are right. But in German, we use the verb haben. Du hast recht. You might come across both the versions. Recht, written with a big R or a small R. Man muss mehr für die Umwelt tun. Da bist du richtig. Wrong one. The correct one would be, man muss mehr für die Umwelt tun. Da hast du recht. Gehen in German means also to go by foot, zu Fuß gehen. If you need to travel somewhere with a vehicle, then you use the verb fahren. Am Wochenende gehe ich in die Schweiz. Now, assuming that you are in Germany and want to go to Switzerland, you would need a vehicle to travel. So you should say, am Wochenende fahre ich in die Schweiz. But let's say you are moving to a new city or country. Then you can use gehen. Wegen des Kriegs gehen viele Ukrainer nach Ausland. Two verbs in German that might create some confusion. Mitbringen and mitnehmen. Mitbringen is used when you take a gift for the other person or because someone asked you for it. Mitnehmen is used when you take something with you and you have packed it for yourself or bought it. Auf die Reise bringe ich unbedingt meine Brille mit. The correct one would be Auf die Reise nehme ich unbedingt meine Brille mit. And here's an example how you could use mitbringen. Bringst du bitte Brot mit? Danke. Ordinal numbers in German have specific rules. After an ordinal number comes a dot. Date, day, month and year are separated by a dot and unlike in American English, the day always comes before the month. It is also not necessary to put a zero in front of the single digit day and month numbers. Also remember, when you are reading the date, you have to use the correct endings. Heute ist der siebte erste or heute ist der siebte Januar. Ich komme am siebten ersten or ich komme am siebten Januar. Let's move on to the next one. Be sure to spell the words with EI and IE correctly. Otherwise, the words might mean something completely different. Bienen or Beinen. Lieb oder Leib. Leider oder Lieder. Scheinen oder Schienen. Let's look at a sentence. One small mistake in spellings and the sentence would be Die Kinder singen gern leider. But the correct one is Die Kinder singen gern lieder. In a sentence, the verb is in position 2. Exceptions are when you are using the conjunctions aber, denn, sondern, oder, und. Let's see if you can already see the mistakes here. Morgen ich mache eine Party, denn habe ich Geburtstag. The verb is in the wrong position. The correct sentence would be Morgen mache ich eine Party, denn ich habe Geburtstag. 
In a sentence with two objects, the dative object comes before the accusative object, unless both objects are pronouns, then they switch places. Here's an example. Der Chef hat einen besseren Job meiner Kollegin angeboten. In this sentence you can see the accusative object, einen besseren Job, is placed before the dative object, meiner Kollegin. The correct sentence would be Der Chef hat meiner Kollegin einen besseren Job angeboten. And if you have pronouns for both these objects, then the accusative object will be placed before the dative object, like in this sentence. Der neue Job? Der Chef hat ihn mir nicht angeboten. Let's move on to the next mistake. As an alternative to gefallen, you can also use schön, gut, toll finden. Das Sofa gefällt mir. Or you can say, Ich finde das Sofa schön or gut or toll. As we learned before, you cannot say, Das Sofa mag ich. That would be completely wrong. Another common mistake is the use of müssen. When one is talking about something that's not allowed. In such a case, you should use nicht dürfen and not müssen. Hier musst du nicht rauchen is wrong. You should say, hier darfst du nicht rauchen. So we have already discussed 34 mistakes. Do you make any of these mistakes? Do let us know in the comments. If you want to practice what you have learned, we have a free worksheet for you on Patreon. Link is in the description. For this video, there will be no podcast. Danke. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you still haven't. You can click on the bell to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Tschüss! Auf Wiedersehen!